Welcome to another Tech Insight, where we show you how to make your workspace work. In this episode, we're going to show you how to integrate Duo with your workspace identity to provide stronger user authentication. Let's first begin by showing the user experience with a Duo integrated workspace identity. The user first accesses their workspace environment either through a browser or via workspace app. Workspace redirects the authentication request to an on-premises Citrix gateway for end-user authentication to Active Directory. Based on contextual policies, if the user is on a specific device type or location, Citrix gateway will ask for a second factor, which in this case is Duo. The user selects a push-based authentication where the request is sent to the user's registered device, requiring the user to hit Approve to complete the primary authentication process for Workspace. The identity is then sent back to Workspace, which authorizes the user to a list of available resources. Let's now take a conceptual look at this integrated solution. With a completely on-premises deployment, we can use Citrix Gateway to provide different forms of authentication for the user, either Active Directory only, Active Directory with Radius, Active Directory with Certificates, just to name a few. We can then integrate this on-prem environment with Citrix Workspace as a cloud service that will use the Identity Broker microservice to redirect the user's authentication request to that on-premises gateway device. This type of deployment provides similar capabilities with a completely on-premises deployment where we can use Gateway to provide user authentication with Active Directory, Active Directory with Radius, Active Directory Certificates, and even in this instance, Active Directory with Duo. However, Duo is a cloud-based service, so what we end up doing is installing a Duo proxy within an internal network which then links back to our organization's Duo subscription. At a high level, the user flow is as follows. User connects to Workspace, which redirects the user to an on-prem gateway where they must authenticate to LDAP for the first authentication challenge. The second authentication challenge is via a RADIUS policy, which incorporates the Duo proxy server. Once authenticated with Duo, the user is then authorized to see a list of the available resources within the Workspace environment. From a Citrix Gateway configuration perspective, we use an authentication profile to create a link between our Gateway Virtual Server, which is publicly accessible, to our Authentication Virtual Server, which is a local container within Gateway. At the highest priority, we have an OAuth IDP policy that creates a link between our on-premises Gateway with our Citrix Cloud Services subscription. To set up a configuration of using Gateway as an IDP for Workspace by using this OAuth IDP policy, is a topic for another Tech Insight video, which can be found at techzone.citrix.com within the learning section. The second part of the authentication virtual server is an advanced authentication policy that defines our authentication flow. First, we have the user authenticate with our LDAP policy, which creates a link to our on-premises Active Directory domain. Upon success, the LDAP policy adds a second factor, which is a radius policy pointing to our on-premises Duo proxy server. The Duo proxy server creates a link to our organization's Duo Cloud Services subscription and a specific application API. Let's now walk through the configuration by starting in the Duo Cloud Console where we define an application to protect. When we select the Citrix Gateway application, we're going to get a set of keys, secret keys, API instances, as well as integration keys that we're going to use as part of the configuration of the Duo proxy server. Within our on-premises Duo proxy server, we need to configure the proxy to our Duo subscription by editing the auth proxy configuration file. The settings within this file are specific to this type of a deployment. Additional information can be found on the Duo documentation site. Duo integrates within our gateway authentication via an iframe window. So we go ahead and configure this type of an iframe to be able to interact with our on-prem gateway implementation. We have to copy the I key or the integration key from the Duo site into this proxy server we also need to copy the S key or the uh, security key from the Duo site into this configuration file, as well as the API key. 
this information is going to be able to allow this particular proxy server to contact this application or this API within the Duo cloud services. The RADIUS IP, the RADIUS secret, and the RADIUS port information that we enter within the configuration file will then allow this proxy server to be able to communicate back to our gateway. We'll be making similar configurations on the gateway in a little bit. In order for these changes to take effect, we need to restart the Duo Security Authentication service within Windows. With the proxy server configured, we can now access our gateway and make the necessary configuration changes. Let's first review our Citrix Gateway configuration. Within the Gateway Virtual Server, we have an authentication profile bound. This authentication profile is also bound to an authentication virtual server. That authentication virtual server has the OAuth IDP policy applied, which connects to Citrix Cloud Services, as well as an LDAP policy, which connects to our on-prem Active Directory. We now need to expand this policy, extend this policy, to incorporate the RADIUS authentication. Let's first navigate through the Security Application Traffic Policies Advanced Policies, and we want to set up a RADIUS action. This action will create that link between Gateway and our Duo proxy server running in our on-prem data center, which is based on RADIUS. We give it a name, and we're also going to connect to that machine via that machine's IP address. We want to make sure the port is the same port we specified within the auth proxy config file. We need to take the secret, the radius secret, and use that within our environment on the gateway. Increase the overall timeout and then run, go ahead and test the radius reachability, making sure that the gateway is able to successfully talk to the radius server. The next part of the config is to create a authentication policy for radius. And this policy is going to utilize that radius action, that link that we just created to our on-prem Duo proxy server. Now we create an authentication policy label which assigns a schema or an interface for the dual portion of our authentication flow. Because RADIUS will simply utilize an iframe window to provide our second authentication factor, we do not require a gateway schema that requests user input. We now create a binding between this policy label and our Duo RADIUS authentication policy we just created. The last step in the configuration is to go into our authentication virtual server, which is bound to our gateway. We need to modify the LDAP policy so that the next factor is the Duo iframe authentication label that we just created. So now when a user logs in, this completes that flow of the user first authenticating to LDAP and then after successful authentication, authenticates with Duo. With this level of integration, organizations moving to a workspace model do not have to re-engineer their strong authentication solution.